What's up guys and uh, welcome to class. We're going to check out some of Larry Carlton's uh, you know, wonderful playing uh, again today. Uh, and it's from um, room 335, you know, the, the great hit for, for Larry Carlton. So I just picked out a few bars from the solo and uh, we're just going to play that and, and talk a little bit about it. So um, let me play it first. It, it's on the B section of, of the song. So. Um, <laughs> with uh, with uh, the track if I can do it it's, it's kind of hard <laughs> So um, it's uh, it's it's a bit of a challenge technically. Uh, I what I find find uh, what I want to say first of all is is you know if you've been following me for some time and, and kind of know the way that I play, um, I think the way to get uh, the real swing of, of this stuff here is is to play it with um, pick less notes than than I would normally do. Uh, so you know I've indicated all the slides and slurs and hammer on some pull so, so check that out because it's it's pretty hard uh, on these runs particularly to um yeah to play them uh, if you want to pick a lot um so so that's what I, and also you know it's, it's part of that sound to get a more kind of flowing thing not to pick so much so let's just take it from the top um This is a nice line. We're going from D major, right? So that first thing is kind of pentatonic. Right, it's coming from, you know, D major pentatonic, or if you, if you will, D minor pentatonic. And this idea here, it's a nice way of outlining that uh, next chord, which is F sharp augmented or, or flat 13. Also, it's a flat 9 here, so it's kind of an altered feeling to it. Uh, one thing that I like too is that uh, the pattern changes slightly from. Right, it's not da 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 it's da 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 so it's a yeah it's a nice little rhythmic thing there so d minor and this is also very nice you know there's so many things we can pick out of of just uh, a few bars like this um uh that you know i i can say it that it's nice to play uh a minor arpeggio from the fifth of a minor chord, right? This we're playing on B minor, and we're actually playing an F minor arpeggio, right? Uh, which which makes the tonality a nice, uh, you know, colorful notes on top. There we have the ninth and eleventh, right? And then uh, the next bar, just scroll a little bit here. Um, it's kind of a, a modulation thing where we go B minor to A minor uh, D7 to G, right? We're kind of modulating our way into G major. So, so for, for, for those bars, uh, we have some nice uh, things happening from arpeggios. Right? This is pretty much, it's almost like an exercise. Sure, we played stuff uh, on the lessons that are similar to this. So the first one here is A minor. When instead of playing just uh, like a triad or a seventh, uh, mi minor seventh, he's adding the ninth. 
that's a nice way of playing uh, arpeggios, you know, um, if you don't want kind of the seventh or, or really a dense kind of jazz sound. You could continue all the way down, just an octave down. Right, it's, uh, it's A minor, but just with some, some added color. Next one, E minor 7, B minor 7. Right? And uh, we're ascending again. So this is... Um, um, I was <laughs> a bit puzzled about uh, how this was played because when we get down here we're actually gonna go back up the same way. But uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I heard a slide here. So he's not doing that, he's probably going. Uh, which helps uh, for, for, the, for what's, what comes next. So that's G major seven. So that nice, just check out that nice little chromatic thing there. That's that really does a lot to um, to to that line. It, it it's something that you know that it's a color that that is uh, you know really sweet. So uh, l l let me play it for you in context. Right, pretty straightforward, but uh, yeah. And then the next line. So this is on top of F sharp minor, B7, uh, I'm not sure, I think they play just regular B9 actually, but, but the line is, you know, diminished over uh, over 7th chord, it's, it's a nice way of giving it a different touch, so we're getting to a flat, flat 9. So, so this entire line, uh, let's see, this is um, bar number seven. You could look at that just uh, as something you could use on a dominant, right? B7. So it starts on the 13. So now, uh, I'm just, I I'm just want to interrupt myself, even though I'm talking a lot about theory. Um, just playing this stuff you know has value even if you don't do the analysis and stuff like this because um whatever you play whatever you practice that's that is what is gonna pop out when you improvise you know so um so yeah and at the ending um it's on e major and we get to that G minor, B flat there uh, is the third of G minor to C, a third of C. So, so that uh, is really giving that uh, modulation there. It's going from E E major, F sharp minor modulation to G major minor, and then uh, it's a chromatic from C seven, C sharp seven back to D. So um, we play the whole thing uh, kind of slow so um, just so you hear it once more. A bit of a tongue twister or you know finger twister um but uh you know it's, it's very cool so um yeah good luck with it uh have a great day see you soon bye bye